Welcome back to another episode. I'm your gracious host David and today I'll be reviewing the Herman Miller and Body. It's a scientific fact that sitting all day is bad for your health and the stresses a chair can have on your back will lead to severe back pain. The old chair I had was terrible to use because it was giving me low back problems and the hard plastic would also dig into my shoulders regardless of the height it was set at. I twist my upper body to alleviate the stresses and if my lower back began to ache, I'd place a pillow there as a fix. Okay, the issue is solved. But the actual seat is so stiff on the hamstrings and glutes that it began to feel that the blood circulation is being cut off. There's no way I could keep suffering from sitting down for so long and I needed an effective solution. After a lot of research, I learned about the Herman Miller and Body, an ergonomic chair where designers work with physicians and PhDs in the field of biomechanics, vision, physical therapy to help guide the development of this chair. The M body is beautifully designed with a lot of features that will not give you any kind of stresses on your body. The arms of the chair are adjustable to the height of your preference. Hold down the trigger button and move the entire arm up or down. The arms can move inward or outward and you hear the gear notches popping as you move them. The arms of the rest is made out of padded leather that feels great to the touch. When I got the chair, the armrest would get caught underneath the desk at night and leave obvious imprints that made me worry. Much to my surprise, the armrest would be healed back to normal, no imprints whatsoever, but I wouldn't recommend you try this as an experiment. Everyone has a unique height, and the chair can be adjusted by pressing the translucent pressure tab on the right side of the chair. Sitting on the edge of the chair to lower it won't work, so your entire lower body needs to be on the back of the chair. When you press the tab, whether making the chair higher or lower, you hear the pss 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 sound of the hydraulic in action. Now that the chair height is to your liking, you can adjust the angle of the back support. By rotating the handle attached to the back support, you will be able to lean far backwards in the chair or be locked in a vertical position. When I lock the back support by turning the handle clockwise, I find that I can focus for long periods of time and that my lower back is supported so I don't experience lower back pain. After a long day of work, I turn the knob counterclockwise to lean back so I'm comfortable watching YouTube videos or doing any type of creative work. Now these settings work for me, but if you plan to get this chair, I recommend that you try a showroom model at your local retailer to see what setting works best for you. You can adjust the length of the seat by holding the handlebars on both sides of the chair, pulling upward and sliding forward or backwards depending on the length of your legs or your preference. Perhaps you're a potential customer that doesn't like an all black chair, or maybe you're a startup founder and you want to have chairs that matches or complements the office color themes. On the Herman Miller website, you can customize the frame, upholstery and its color, and the type of caster, aka the wheels, of the chair. Changing the type of caster means you pay more, but you should know what flooring you have before you purchase it. The materials of the upholstery is either medley or rhythm. Medley is a cross-hatch woven solution, while rhythm is more of a jersey material, which my chair features. The rhythm material on the seat tends to fade faster than what the website said it was, which was 200,000 double rubs. I tried dabbing some water on the effective areas to see if it disappeared, but it didn't. Comparing my old chair seat which is frizzing out and body has these stubborn faded marks. If anyone has suggestions on how to get rid of these marks, please let me know in the comments below. The design of the M body adds a vibe of modernity to any desk and room it's placed in. I found that the unique pattern on the back support catches your eyes from a distance and makes you want to try it out. The textures of the materials immediately makes you think of quality, and for the price you're paying for this chair, you're getting that and health benefits. The smoothness of the rotation is really nice, and it glides to a gentle stop. If you're in an office and you need to rotate to face coworkers, having a squeaky and creaky chair will be incredibly annoying to you and everyone else. Also, when you're working in an office, you want to be able to come and go to your desk without drawing constant attention. The M body is pretty quiet with a few creaks from time to time, but not at the volume and frequency my old chair had. The castle wheels are very smooth on the hardwood floor, but what if you have carpet flooring? While you can get carpet casters from Herman Miller, on Reddit I saw some people buy laminate panels and put them on the carpet so the chair can sit and roll on. While some people may like this, some may not, but it comes down to what works best for you. Let's check underneath the chair. Embody says the seat is comprised of four different support layers, each with its own set of material properties, and each created with a different manufacturing process, all working together, orienting themselves to your shape 
with a degree of fidelity so high they even accommodate pockets. These layers were designed for airflow, keeping you cool and comfortable as you sit. The joy of having the Embody is that its function is on full display. According to their website, every part of the chair was designed to serve a very specific, healthful purpose. Embody's technology isn't hidden, but is instead part of its aesthetic. For the back of the chair, Embody's back is designed like a human's, with its central spine and flexible ribs. The back fit adjustment allows you to position the backrest in line with your spine's natural curve, so you achieve a neutral, balanced posture. Once the chair is tuned to you, the backrest adapts to your movement, adjusting automatically to your shift in position. Whether you lean forward or recline, support remains constant. Some of you might be wondering, how different is the body from the Herman Miller and Logitech gaming chair? Looking at the specs, I'd say very little. Besides the pixelated support, copper infused cooling foam, and the cyan accents, I believe you'll be getting like 90-97% of the same features as the body. You can go to the Herman Miller and Logitech FAQ and it says that the difference is just cooling and better back support. I think that if you're a Twitch video game streamer or a pro esports player, this Logitech collab might, and this heavy emphasis on might, be better on your body than the M body, but I don't know for certain. Overall, I have to say that the Herman Miller M body is one of the best chairs I've ever sat in and own, and I believe you'll feel the same, especially if you're an office worker or a professional esports gamer. The back support and lower body is great and the aesthetic pleasing to the eyes. People might say, this chair is too expensive, and they'd be right, but I believe that over time the benefits will pay itself off, and it'd be cheaper than going to the chiropractor or massage therapist frequently. If you found this video helpful, do like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.